What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel, Daniel here. In this video, let's talk about LLCs. Why do you need an LLC? If you do need one, how do you get one? And I'm gonna talk about some of the benefits of having an LLC as well. And all of this is coming from my perspective as a small business owner, as a small online business owner, because uh, I raised my LLC about a year ago. And I'm gonna be sharing this perspective from my own experience. So this is my experience, but this is going to apply generally to a lot of people if you're thinking about having an LLC. Now, the first question I get is what is even an LLC or what does it mean to have an LLC? So an LLC is just a business structure that allows your business to operate as its own entity, meaning it creates uh, you know, a business structure that is apart from yourself. So for example, if your business comes into any trouble, maybe you're running into financial issues, bankruptcy, or maybe you have a lot of you know debtors who are trying to come after you, you don't take the fall personally for that. So a business can take its own fall. So it shields you essentially from your business. It separates you, your bank accounts, your social security, your credit history from your business. So, so that's the biggest advantage I think lies with having an LLC. And there's several other reasons why I think an LLC is important. And I'll mention three of them. And the first one is simplicity. Uh, I think an LLC is the, you know, the simplest type of business entity to set up. You don't need to have someone sign for you. You don't need to have 10, 50 employees. You can have pretty much any number of employees. You can be the sole employee in your own business and you can still have an LLC. And the fact that it's very inexpensive to set up, I set up my LLC for less than $200, I believe about $175. And it, I believe, applies across all states in the United States. And even if you're trying to do it from abroad, it's not gonna cost you more than $200 if you're doing it by yourself. And the other reason why I think LLC is important is flexibility. Now, like I said earlier, you don't need to have 50 to 100 employees. You can be the sole employee in your business. So the flexibility that comes with having an LLC is one of the benefits of having an LLC. So you should consider registering one. And the last but not the least, why I think an LLC is important is the credibility it gives your business. So if you're trying to offer a service to a different business or to a different person, they want to know if your business is legit, if you have a legal standing in the domain that you operate in. So having an LLC gives you that credibility. You can easily flash your you know, registration document and say, this is my business registration and I'm registered and I'm legal to operate a business anywhere in the United States. So that's one of the reasons why you want to get an LLC. And in addition to that credibility part of it, if you're trying to build a business credit or maybe you're trying to take out loans for your business or apply for business credit cards, it's important to have an LLC because every bank or every financial institution is going to ask for your employee identification number, which is like a social security number for your business. Now, let's talk about employee identification number and why it's important. So once you register your LLC, it's saying that you are legal to operate in that state or anywhere in that domain that you've registered in, but the employer identification number in the United States, it's what identifies your business. It's something like your social security number. It's how you file your taxes. It's how you pay your taxes. It's how, you know, the state recognizes you. The federal government recognizes your business. So if you're trying to get a business loan, for example, so you're trying to take out a loan for a car or a mortgage in your house, right? They ask for your social security number. They want to know your credit history and how you've been diligent in paying back your loans or, you know, your credit lines. And so the same thing is for your business. They ask for your employer's identity identification number so that way they can track your business credit they can you know monitor your progress over time and that way you're able to do whatever it is you want to do with paying taxes and employing people and things of that nature how do you get one how do you get an LLC for your business now for every state in the United States you can go on your state's website and be sure to find you know, ways to get your LLC I, I mean for myself I register my business in the state of Maryland and they have a website called the Maryland Business Express where you go online you can file your LLC, you can do it the same day. And it took me about uh, 15 to 20 minutes to sign up my LLC. And right away I was given my business uh, and everything came out in a very short amount of time. So when you have registered LLC, when once you go to your, to your state's website to register LLC, the next thing you wanna do is to go on the IRS website. Now the IRS is going to you know give you an employee identification number and you do not have to pay for this. You don't have to pay for an employee identification number. It's something you can get the same day that you register your business. It's completely free. And they issue you a letter called the CP5 
575. So the CP575 is going to contain your business address and your employer's identification number. So that is the address that you're going to identify your business with and your employer identification number is what you use to run your day-to-day -day activities in your business. So you can also go online and use services like nolo.com, Zenfolio, or you know, all this website that helps you register your business. Uh, I think it's mostly useful if you're trying to register a business in the United States, but you're not resident in the US. They can serve as you know, your guarantors or, or your representatives, your licensed representatives here. But if you want to do it yourself, if you are a small business owner like myself and you want to save yourself a lot of money, I would advise that you go on your state website and go sign up for your LLC by yourself. It's very easy to do and you can get it done in less than 30 minutes. So I believe these and many more are some of the reasons why you need an LLC and it's very easy to start and the benefits of having an LLC are so immense. If you're trying to do whatever business online, say for example, you're trying to do e-commerce, websites like Walmart will request for your business license because they don't want just anybody to be coming onto the platform. And also, if you're trying to sign up for a payment processor like Stripe, like PayPal, and you're trying to get a business account with them, they require you to have an LLC or an employer's identification number, you, which you get after you've registered an LLC. So if you plan on having an online business, if you want to travel like I do, and just you know run your business from your laptop, which is what I do most of the time, then it's very important to get an LLC because on this YouTube channel, I talk about online businesses a lot. To make your online business legit, to make sure your taxes are paid on time and you take into consideration all the legal factors, then having an LLC is very important for you. Now, let me know if this video has been helpful. And if you want to see more business tips like this, rather than the practical things that I usually talk about, let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you haven't subscribed, this is a perfect time to do so. And I really appreciate you uh, sticking around this long. Anyways, uh, my name is Daniel and I will see you in the next video.